Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're gonna go through my everyday makeup basket for March of 2019. I'm currently participating in quite a few different project pan projects, so my overall makeup basket this month is a bit light since I really am focusing on those projects for this month. So this might be a little bit shorter than usual, but let's just go ahead and jump in first with the primer drawer. The first primer I have is from Too Faced. This is the Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. This has been really great on my dry skin. Just even in the past week or so, I felt that my skin has been extra dry and just tight. And this has been like my go-to primer just to kind of moisturize and prime and just have my makeup last throughout the day. My next primer is this little sample of this Guerlain Lore, Lore primer. This is the gold primer. I'm just trying to finish this one up since there really is only like two more applications left in here. Last but not least, I'm bringing in this Cover FX Blurring Primer. I'm trying to stop using my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer because it's practically empty and I don't know when I'm going to be able to purchase it again since it's been my go-to pore primer. So I'm going to bring this one in and see how I like it. Moving on to concealers. I'm bringing back in my Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer in the shade number two. This is just a salmon color corrector. I feel like I might include this in my next seasonal project pan, but for now I'm just trying to get some use out of it. I am currently panning two concealers. So the only other concealer that I have in this drawer is a new concealer I've been testing out for a video that's gonna come up. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. I have two shades, 115 and 120. I'm also panning a mascara right now. So for right now, my mascaras have not changed. I have the Chantecaille Faux Sils Mascara, the NARS Climax, and the Revlon Volume Amazing. The only thing is that I'm not a huge fan of this Revlon one. I feel like the, the brush is a little bit too harsh on my eyes and my eyelashes, but I've been loving the Chantecaille and the NARS, and I've actually been wearing them layered up together, and I've loved the effect. I swear, it wouldn't be one of my regular <laughs> uh, makeup baskets if this wasn't included, of course. The NYX Glitter Glue. I might need to buy another one soon, but I know I can cut this tube open and get a lot of use out of it still, so it's hanging in there. For my brow product this month, I'm actually bringing in a product from Milani because I did hit pan on my ABH Dip Brow, which is surprising. So this is the Milani Stay Put Brow Color in the shade 8 Dark Chocolate. I kind of wish I was able to find a like black shade. This is just a really, really dark brown. And this is actually drying out on me. Let me open this up. It's fairly dry on the inside, so I'm trying to look for ways to like re-wet it <laughs> if I can, but I'm still using it. I feel like though if I can't figure out a way to make it less dry by the end of this month, I might have to declutter it. I'm bringing back in my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I used this for a bit and then threw it in my drawer and didn't bring it back out. And I feel like it's almost empty at this point and I just need to finish it up. Oh God, it looks so gross right there. <laughs> I need to clean it up and finish it up. I have two eyeliners that are still going strong. They're both black liners, one from Givenchy and one from Stila. Last but not least, I wanted to bring in a colorful liner to challenge myself with for this month. So this is actually the this is actually the yellow eyeliner from Kylie Cosmetics. This is from her Weather Collection, and I've used this a few times, but definitely not recently. So I want to get more use out of this and do some more creative looks, especially with my Pan That palette. So. I'm bringing that in for March. Moving on to foundations, I have, of course, a carryover from last month, the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. I cannot get my thoughts straight on this. I am confused. I need to keep testing it, and it's going to be a bit for the video because I don't want to throw something up just to throw something up. So I'm just confused. <laughs> Next, I'm bringing back in a foundation from NARS. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Punjab. This is almost empty. I feel like it's down here to where the R is, and I kind of want to finish this one up, even though I don't really have this in a project or anything. So I think I'm just going to keep this in my drawer until it's finished. And I, I love the finish of this. I feel like this is a good time of year for a nice radiant finish for a foundation. So I'm going to try and finish this one up. I'm bringing back in my CYO Long Lasting Life Proof Foundation in the shade, what shade are you? 
in the shade 104. I do have to lighten this in order for it to work, and the undertone is a bit cool, whereas I do have a warm undertone. So it can be a bit off, but I love the formula, I love the way it wears, and I'm almost halfway through it. So again, I feel like I kind of want to just use this one and enjoy it. Last but not least, I'm bringing back the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation, and I honestly can't remember the last time I used this. I have the shade LW2, so I really want to get my thoughts clear on this product again now that we're in the middle of the winter, because I, I honestly really can't remember the last time I actually used this foundation. I've also been keeping my LA Girl White Mixer Foundation in here handy just because I've had to just adjust so many foundations now that I'm pale as hell in the middle of the winter, so it just kind of lives in my drawer now. For loose powder, I'm bringing in a powder that I actually just picked up. This is the Too Faced Born This Way powder in the lightest translucent shade. I actually returned both the Fenty loose powder and the concealer because neither were working for me. I did an exchange and I picked this up. I've actually been loving this powder. It's beautiful. It's super finely milled. It really blurs my under eyes and just it looks incredible and I love it. So I'm going to get some more use out of this. I don't think I'll throw this in a video since it is just one product, but I've really been enjoying it. For my pressed powder, I'm carrying over my ambient lighting powder in Ethereal Light because for the most part throughout the year it's been light for me. For right now, it's perfect for me since I'm so pale, so I'm trying to get as much use out of it as I can. I'm keeping the blush from my 9pan19 project in here just so that it's within easy reach. This is my ABH Blush Trio in Peachy Love. Since I've already hit my first pan goal on a highlighter I've been panning and I have a new highlighter I'm panning as well but I have a little bit of a longer time frame for that. I wanted to bring in a highlighter I really haven't touched in quite some time. This is also from the Kylie Weather collection and this is the highlighter palette. It's got some beautiful shades in here. Unfortunately this really doesn't work for a lot of skin tones because I can use each one of these shades. If you did want to check out all of my thoughts on the entire Kylie Weather Collection video, I did pick up the whole collection and do a video, so I'll throw that video up in the cards. But really, I want to focus on the two highlighter shades on the ends. The last drawer down here, of course, includes a lot of my current project pan projects, and if we scoot up a bit, boop -a doop -a doop You'll see all of my mascaras I'm hoarding, <laughs> all my empty mascaras I'm hoarding for my mascara video, my bite size review drawer, and all of my current setting sprays. <laughs> so I think that is everything for March. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out all of my current project pans if you want to see also what I'm reaching for on a daily basis. Also, let me know down below what you're going to be using for the month of March. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.